Emma, it's your maiden tournament at Cincinnati. First impressions of the event here and you're excited to get going. Yeah, I think it's really well set up. The, the venue's great. I mean, everything is in one place. I am looking forward to my first round match. Obviously, I think it's going to be a great experience, a great, you know, memory that I'll have for the rest of my career. And um, yeah, I also can't wait to get on the roller coaster sometime. <laughs> Um, just go get your reaction from Toronto's uh, tricky first round loss against the defending champion. How do you think you played and how are you feeling about your game heading into this week? I actually think that I can take some positives from that match. Um, I think that compared to other matches I've played in the last you know, year, I think that in certain aspects I actually played better and I was hitting harder. It was just like for me, like dealing with her, her pace of shot. And, and I think that it, it definitely surprised me some, some of the balls like and how I should react to them. And uh, I think that's, it was great for me to experience that and have that exposure to, to her ball speed and her way of playing because she plays pretty fast. But yeah, it was nice to be in Toronto again, um, see, it, see it live. I mean, I've obviously seen home videos from being born there, but yeah, to be able to explore as well in the afternoons after training. You mentioned roller coasters. Uh, it's a busy time of year this year for you, obviously, but are you finding a way to um, relax outside of tennis to distract yourself from the whirlwind that is the US Open series? Well, I haven't. I think that the biggest thing I've been doing, like I've just been focusing a lot on, on my practices and, and often, you know, I'll be practicing a, a lot and and uh, just doing everything I need to do around the day that by the time I'm finished, it's pretty much evening and I just want to go to bed. Like that's, that's how I've kind of been distracting myself just by working, working through it. Uh, let's talk about the Monday night match. Everyone's talking about it. What was your reaction to the draw when you first saw it? What was the overriding emotion? I was, I was excited. I mean, I was happy. I think it's, it's an amazing opportunity. It's an amazing, I've, it's an amazing gift to sort of play the best tennis player um, of all time. On on her way out, it's probably gonna be my last opportunity to play her unless I draw her in New York. But um, I think, yeah, I mean, whatever happens, it's just gonna be a a great memory that I'll always have. You must have seen uh, the story um, that you were born the year that she got to number one, 2002. How do you wrap your head around that before Monday? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's pretty incredible how, how long she's been in the game for. And uh, I think that to have that length of career and longevity that she's had is something that I aspire to have, like just to, just to be playing tennis for a long time. And, and of course, how she's dominated the game is, is pretty surreal. And, and um, yeah, I think that no one else has really kind of done it like that. But um, I'm just, yeah, I don't really read anything. So, but that's pretty crazy. <laughs>